Welcome back to our Question of the Week series. Let's get started. As we have been doing, we're going to hide our answer choices until we read the question so that we don't get distracted by the answer choices. And as always, we start with the last sentence, which is our question, before we read the rest of the vignette. What insect is the most likely route of transmission for this patient's illness? A 39-year-old man living in Honduras presents to the clinic complaining of constipation and stomach pains for several months. On cardiac examination, the physician discovers a laterally displaced point of maximal impact. Chest and abdominal x-rays reveal a pulmonary congestion, cardiomegaly, and megacolon. Symptomatic treatment is all that can be offered to this patient. So what insect is the most likely route of transmission for this patient's illness? Well, we're looking for something that causes a disease that gives us pulmonary congestion, cardiomegaly, megacolon, uh, that, that cardiomegaly is what's dis laterally displacing the point of maximum impact. Uh, he's also having constipation and stomach pains. So all that together, we're looking for a organism that's transmitted by an insect. So let's see what we got. A, Anopheles mosquito. B, Ixoides tick. C, Reduvid bug, D, sandfly, or E, tsetse fly. Take a minute, come up with your answer, and write your answer in the comments below. Well, I know that the Anopheles mosquito transmits malaria, and this doesn't seem to fit malaria signs and symptoms, so I'm going to mark that one out. The Ixoides tick, that one tra uh, transmits Lyme disease. We're not seeing any type of uh, indication this is Lyme disease or Babesiosa. Um, and, and Lyme disease uh, locations don't really fit uh, someone in, in Honduras. That's going to be more in the United States, uh, up in the northeast uh, towards the central portion of the United States. So the Ixoides tick, probably not going to be my answer here. The Reduvid bug... This could possibly be it, uh, so let's leave this here and come back to it. D, sandfly. Sandflies, um, this is, we see transmitting stuff, Kala Azar, uh, Leishmaniasis. I don't think that any of this is going to be um, seen with this particular patient. This doesn't seem to fit to me, sandfly. And then our CT fly. African sleeping sickness. I remember sleeping fly and African, African sleeping sickness associated with each other. I don't think that's what this is. Let's just leave it and go back here. Let's look at C, Reduvid bug. Reduvid bug. This is, if everything I remember, Chagas disease. Chagas disease um, gives us things that would fit here. That pulmonary congestion is a possible um, a side effect of Chagas disease. Cardiomegaly, definitely with Chagas disease. Um, so from what I'm remembering seeing, I think C fits better uh, with this answer. So I'm going to go with C as my final answer. And C is the correct answer. So this is the Reduvid bug that transmits Trypanosoma cruzi, which is what causes Chagas disease. So our acute symptoms with Chagas disease can be the Chagomas, which are small uh, skin granulomas that um, it's caused by multiplication of that pathogen along the skin. Uh, we can get myocarditis. We can get congestive heart failure. Uh, but then in severe cases, we can see, or severe or more chronic cases, we can see arrhythmias. We can see dilated cardiomyopathy, uh, which is where we're going to get that displacement of the the lateral displacement of the maximum point of maximal impact. Uh, megacolon is a, another side effect uh, of Chagas disease. As far as treatment goes, like we said here, that symptomatic treatment is all that could be offered to this patient. So uh, how do we treat this? Well, we're going to treat this with uh, nifurtimox. And that helps us with during the acute stage of infection. And oftentimes the Reduvid bug is found in Central and South America. So this fits in with the location of this patient in Honduras.
Thank you.